Richard Zinn and I design and build Zinn bikes and write bike maintenance books. We're custom builders, so we make anything. But we make cyclocross bikes and track bikes. We make road bikes, lots of great road bikes with normal road brakes or with disc brakes. And we do them in titanium. That's sort of our top of the line. Next step down is magnesium. Offer similar weight and similar ride characteristics at a lower price. And then steel. And then we do also lots of mountain bikes. We'll do hardtails in all those same materials, titanium, magnesium, and steel. But also we do full suspension 29ers um, that we offer in two sizes and two models. The Zinn customer tends to be, for the most part, tall. Not that I don't love making bikes for every size people. There's nobody that designs bikes better than I do, but I make great bikes for every size. But the truth is that the people who come to me are mostly tall. That was one of my first challenges that is continually a challenge to be able to provide a bike to those guys that fits huge guys up to seven foot two and you know 350 pounds that doesn't shake and fits them well and is also reasonably light as, as well as reasonably aesthetic too one of the design philosophies that I have is is sloping the top tube and lowering the the intersection point of the top tube with the head tube so that so that I'm decreasing making the frame more compact yet the end points where the rider touching the, the feet the butt and the hands are in the proper relative positions one of the things that we do that I think is the most unique and the really an incredible service to people that other people don't offer is fully engineered travel bikes, especially for really tall people. There are other travel bikes available for smaller people, but we're the only ones I know of that make travel bikes that fit in a standard little travel case. It's basically just the size of the wheels, 28 by 28 by 10, for somebody who's six foot 10. And we do that largely because I travel so much. My titanium travel bike that I have now, I've got over 150 plane flights on it, and I really know exactly how I want it to go and how to make it quickest to put it in the box and quickest to get out and, and going again. I look at a bike both as a tool as well as a work of art, and those two things together, that's what makes a Zen bike. Let me inside.